Hi everyone and welcome back. This is the third video in the series about object detection on Raspberry Pi. In this video, I'll talk about several object detection model architectures that you can use on your Raspberry Pi. In machine learning, there's always a trade-off between accuracy and inference speed. In general, to improve model accuracy, you will need a larger model which usually runs slower. The research community has been working very hard to discover new model architectures that are more accurate, while keeping the model size and inference speed at a reasonable level so that we can use them in production. However, if you run a model on a Raspberry Pi, which is a device that has much less computing power compared to a laptop or to GPUs on data centers, you have to be very, very conscious when choosing a model architecture for your use case, because most of the top accuracy models are just too large to run on Raspberry Pi. The good news is that there are model architectures optimized for edge devices that can run well on Raspberry Pi and still maintain a reasonable level of accuracy. At the time this video was created, the state of the art for edge device optimized object detection model architectures is called edge and depth light. A research team at Google used a technique called neural architecture search, or also known as AutoML, to discover this model architecture. The idea was to use machine learning to discover new model architectures, which are under a model size and inference speed limit while maximizing the accuracy. There are five different models in the action that like model family. On one side, the light zero model is small, fast, but less accurate. On the other side, the light four model is the most accurate one in the model family but it's also bigger and slower. Here's a graph that compares model size, inference speed, and model accuracy. The horizontal axis is the mean average precision, also called as MAP of the model. It was measured on the COCO Observation dataset. The large value means the model is more accurate. By looking at the slope of the curve here, you can see that to make the model become more accurate, it needs to be significantly larger. You may see other model architectures that are more accurate than these models. However, the trade-off is that those models are too large to deploy on the edge devices, and they can only be used in powerful servers. You can download the action depth models from Tensor Hub and use it with the sample app that we used in the first video to run our application. Let me show you how to do it. First, open your browser and go to tfhub.dev, and then go to for model format, Select TensorFlow Lite, and in the problem domain, select image and object detection. These are all the TensorFlow Lite object detection models available on TensorFlow Hub. Now select Action Dead Lite 2 detection. Select the TensorFlow Lite model format with metadata and click download to download the model to your device. Okay, now let's close the browser to save some resource and open terminal run source tf light in activate to activate the TensorFlow Lite virtual environment that we created in the first video. And then go to examples light examples object detection raspberry pi folder this is a folder that contains the sample code that we will use to run the model and it is also the same repository that we cloned from github in the first video you can also find the link to this repository in the video description and then let's copy the model that we just downloaded to this folder and run python detect.py specify the model to be to use the model that we just downloaded this model is trained with the coco data set so that it can recognize about 70 types of general objects like a keyboard 
or a cell phone or the clock on the wall. It runs at about 2 frames per second on my Raspberry Pi 4. Comparing the Action Dead Light 2 model with the Action Dead Light 0 model, you will see that the Light 2 model is about 2 times slower, but it is more accurate. If you look at the detection result of the cell phone, you can see that the Light 2 model detection result looks more correct than the Light 0 detection result. And the Light 0 model sometimes misdetected the phone as a remote. This is another example. The Light 2 model can detect the cup quite confidently, but the Light 0 model cannot. You should choose a model depending on whether accuracy or speed is more important for your use case. You can run experiments with different model architectures and choose the one that works best for you. There are other object detection models on Tensorflow Hub that you may want to try out. For example, this model was contributed by Sayak, a Google developer expert in the Tensorflow community. This model is specialized in detecting text in natural environment. When a new state-of-the-art model comes out from the research community, they will probably show up on Tensorflow Hub. So that's all for today. In the next video, we'll talk about how you can make your model run significantly faster by using Google Coral HDB. Thank you for watching.